Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at how you build an app from start to finish using the platform. Uh, first thing you do, click Add New. You enter in your information here. Okay, so I've gone ahead and filled out this stuff uh, that's required. Outlet name, app name, all that stuff is filled out. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, the one thing that you would want to know is the um, category. So we have a bunch of pre-built uh, types of apps already pre-built. And whatever you select here, will have everything turned on for you uh, that's relevant to that type of business. So for example, if you're selecting a cafe, you'll have you know food ordering system, uh, points rewards, uh, punch cards, that kind of stuff that's already turned on for you. You will be able to go in and update it and, and add things if you if you need it, uh, if you need it to, but uh, that's what this is done. So this is gonna be a, a coach or a trainer, uh, and I will hit submit, and you'll see it's been added successfully. When I come back to my list here, you will see it at the top of my list. Now, um, the automatic, uh, mail content is uh, what you can send to your clients. So when you've sold in the app, you click this link and it will send them the email that you just created in, in the account. It will send them the welcome email that you're sending, uh, um, that you created over here in the, in the uh, auto mail content. So we have a uh, welcome mail that goes out for your resellers and all the account information. You can customize this to, to do whatever you want. But let's stick to the building process. So we have now created the app at the top here. You see the create app link right here. If we click on that, you will see the areas where you can customize the color schemes, um, the images and background. So the login screen, you can put a custom image there. All the image sizes are mentioned here and the types of image, if it's PNG or, or JPEG, it would be mentioned there. Um, you can configure the features. Like I said, the when you select the category of, of apps, all the features that are relevant to that category will come as uh, turned on. Um, and you can see what they are. Um, if you want to turn something off or on, you can just basically come in here and do that. And now this is no longer uh, on. If you, same thing if you want to turn it, uh, this is no longer on. So basically if you want to turn something from off to on, you would just basically turn, uh, make it active. Okay, so I will just do something like that, make this active, and uh, away we go. So that's all the features here listed in the platform. Um, <clears throat> your next step would be the menu. Um, and we will use, uh, I will just use the standard menu, but the layout for is the advise menu. I didn't create an image for this one yet. That's why I'm not using this. Um, the required images, these are the kinds of images you're going to need. You're going to need the icons, a login screen, um, the home screen of the app, a uh, smaller icon, a splash screen. Um, those are the main images that you're going to need to create the app. So um, I didn't create an image for the menu, but uh, you can also create a custom image for the menu. Okay. Um, the publish section, I will come back to after I've added all the images. So the publish section, um, is where you add, enter the information uh, that's required to publish the apps. This is for Google, this is for Apple. The Google stuff you enter yourself and uh, you'll be able to generate the source code, which we will do in this uh, in this video. The Apple stuff, you fill out the information, upload the images, and we submit the Apple app for you. Okay, so let's go into the building par uh, part of the app. Okay, so once you've created the app, you would log in, okay, and come down to the settings. So this dashboard, what you're looking at, is the dashboard that your clients see. Okay, so all of your clients will see from the word dashboard all the way down. This is where they would manage the app. Okay, we can go into the different features uh, after we've done the building process. Um, so the first thing that you do is after you've logged in is go to the settings and come to the home screen. Now this is where the magic is. So this is already coming with, uh, we selected a category of a coach, whatever. So it comes with some sort of a uh, a starter screen so that you can you know have a, an idea of what to do but what we're going to do is we're going to delete this and replace it so i'm just deleting this and i'm going to replace it with the new screens that we've built specifically for this app so when you hit the add new button you get this screen and this is where you can upload your own file okay so the image sizes are mentioned here 960 pixels wide with a maximum height of 3000 if you, pixels if you need to go longer than that you would have to create two separate images okay so let me find the image that i want uh, this is the one that I want, and I'll just call it home. Uh, let's call it home screen. And this is key. Um, coming down here, disregard all this stuff. You would assign a function to this screen, so we will say multifunction because this is where the magic is. So make sure you put multifunction. Okay. Hit submit, and the screen will pop up on the outside. So this is the screen that we're now making for this specific app. Okay. Um, now, this is where the magic, like I said, in our platform happens. We don't use a template. We don't use layouts. We allow you to build uh, an app strictly from, uh, with, with no, literally no limits, no boundaries. 
you're creating an app. This is uh, the home screen of the app. So this is what people will always see when they open, uh, open up the app. Um, this was an image created in Photoshop by one of our designers. And we've uploaded the image into the system as you just saw. And now we're going to assign functionality to it. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and assign functionality. Click on the that button, link there and it brings me into the into the image here. And I click on the image. Now I can make a hotspot. So I can take this. I can move it anywhere I want. I can put it wherever I want. And what I'm doing is I'm going to make a hotspot and map out the functionality on this on this app. So this would be a call us feature. And I'm just going to tell the system to go to the call us button. Okay. So now when anyone touches this area on the screen, it will take them to a phone number where it will dial right from the device. Uh, again, similarly, I'm going to do this for notifications. We're doing push notifications here. Uh, title the screen. Okay. And say you're telling the system to go to notifications when anyone touches this area of the screen. So I'm going to finish mapping this out. Hang on a second. Okay, so I went ahead and mapped out the rest of the functions that I want to have on the home screen of this app. Um, I didn't find an Instagram page. I can put that there, but everything else has been pretty much mapped out. Uh, what we're adding. So these are the few functions that we're having on the home screen. Um, it's all been done. I saved it. And now the app is essentially built. Um, there are some things that you would want to come in here and customize, but you know, you're building an app for your own specific customer, whether it's a uh, clothing store, pizza place, hair salon, whatever the niche is, there are some things that come pre-built for you, but they're pre-built with uh, dummy text. So if we were building a cafe or, or a pizza restaurant, um, it's going to come with uh, uh, text and, and things that are already pre-configured to that industry, but it's not going to say your customer's name. So if the customer's name, for example, is Joe's Pizza Place, uh, it's not going to say Joe's Pizza Place or have his logo in any of the, the uh, automated marketing tools that we've got. So let's take a look at what we should do after we've uh, finished with the home screen. Um, we've got the campaigns area, which is where we've created the autopilots. Autopilots are automatic push notifications. So these are things that you can actually create for your clients. Um, and there's a couple of things that you can, you can add. So for example, you hit the add button and you create a welcome message. Uh, so we'll create that. Welcome again, it can be, you know, to whoever, uh, this is going to be a marketing event to marketing central. Okay, this type of autopilot push notification, there's two, two options, a sign up or a reminder. A sign up can only happen one time. So the first time someone downloads the app, they will get this sign up message. So I'm going to make the same headline here. And, sorry, paste here. Um, Let's put a little message in here. Okay, so mobile. So this um, this is the kind of stuff that you can customize and you should customize for each of your clients. Okay, it will come with some dummy text in uh, most of the fields, but uh, this is how you customize it. Whatever it comes with, obviously you're putting your own customer information in there. Okay, you hit the submit button. And now we've created an automatic push notification. So this goes out to anyone that downloads the app for the first time. Okay, similarly, we've got automated emails. Uh, none of these are set. You would want to set this stuff up um, in, in, <clears throat> as well. So a welcome email, so you can set up something here for your clients, um, add some imaging, add some messaging, welcome, welcome them to your rewards program or the app. Uh, any kind of information that would be relevant to them would be set up here as well. Okay, so that, that's what you do that. And what else can we look at? I think that should cover it. Now I'm going to go to the publish part and actually publish this app while I have you guys here. So I will come back into the create app section and let's go ahead and go to the image and background. I'm going to upload my screen here. So this is the login screen. Okay. Oh, wrong. This is a PSD file. I don't want that. I need a JPEG file. So the login screen is that's the Photoshop file. I don't want that. This is the one that I want. So you can see the PNG. It comes right in the background there. I don't need a logo. So I'm going to go to the build section here. That's all done. Um, design, that's fine. The menu is fine. Now we go to the publish section. So right here, I need a splash screen. I will upload my splash screen, which is this one. Is that a PNG? It is. I will upload that. 
Okay, I need an app icon. I look at that. This is large, this is small. I've done that. Now my package name is important. <clears throat> so it's the name of the app, so I'm going to call it Marketing Alliance. Okay, query key, we use the one, two, three, four. Um, the app icon name again is Marketing Alliance. Okay, and the server key in the JSON file, there's a separate video on how to get that. I'm going to go ahead and make that right now and I'll populate it and I'll show you uh, how to uh, finish the build. Okay, guys, so I'm just uh, going to be uploading the server, pasting the server key here. So here's the server key, it's being pasted, and I will find a JSON file that I saved from the uh, Google Console. Right, I pasted the key, I upload this, the JSON file. Let me find it here. Hang on a second. It's in my downloads folder. There it is. I've pasted it in and now hit the update button. And now you see this key is ready to go. So I can now generate the source code, come back to the main page, hit the generate button, and two or three minutes later, you will have the app built. That's the end of it. Thanks for watching, guys.